So I thought I'd have a look at the um, Raising Chariots game, Battalion Combat Series. Um, I've set up here the Battle Axe scenario, 5.5. Um, I think it's only a three turn game. Um, just recreates, not not really an entire Battle Axe to be fair, because the um, you're almost missing the, uh, well you are missing the fourth Indian attack on half via pass, but um, it does feature some of the other Commonwealth units. Um, just to give you a quick run over here, I'm kind of approaching the map from a strange angle because the coast is running up, as you can see there. So in other words, if you head off to that uh, northeast corner of the camera, you'd be heading towards Tobruk. And obviously southwards, you'd be um, down the pass and uh, Versa Matru and all that good stuff along there. Um, green cubes represent the victory condition hexes. So again, just looking straight in front of us at how fire pass there, that's basically Bax Kampfgruppe. Um, and the first victory condition is to capture Hellfire Pass. Um, if you look behind that, you can see Solemn. Uh, Solemn is one of the other three uh, options that the Commonwealth have to try and take. Um, but Hellfire Pass is a must, if you like. Uh, and basically, for Commonwealth victory is judged based on having Hellfire Pass plus one of it. Um, that's a good enough result. So if we sort of pan in a little bit here, um, well there we go, we're picking up the next green square there which is Fort Capuzzo. So I might as well continue off down that road there and we keep going and we come to um, well Happy Ridge almost but it's actually a beer happy I think is that uh, is that last point that's kind of probably the critical battle because the idea was if we just pan back over here uh, the idea was for the battle that these um, four brigades I guess were to punch up this direction um, British intelligence was under the impression that um, Happy Ridge was where 15th Panzer's tanks were the idea was that um, these armoured brigades with their brand new tanks would uh, push up and take down 15th Panzer uh, and then kind of push on and through I guess. Uh, it didn't quite work out obviously in reality. Um, but it, I think one of the things about this battle is, well there's two, there's a couple of things. Obviously it's it's the end of Wavell which was a bit of a, a bit of a shame really because he didn't deserve that. Um, and secondly, it was a closer run thing, I think, than um, than people perhaps imagine. Um, the usual thing that by maintaining the battlefield, which the Germans did in spades, um, everything the British lost was lost. Um, whereas the Germans managed to recover what they lost. Um, yeah. So that's that's basically the setup, if you like. Um, if we quickly run round, as I said before. We've got back down here in around the Solemn area and the Hellfire Pass area. You push in there, you can see Frontera, which is the next Italian formation. And you can just see there, it just tucked in behind is one of the 15th Panzer's units. Uh, moving inland again, that is pretty much 15th Panzer in that little zone there. So the 88th, uh, the blue marker is just to remind me that actually 15th Panzer have already gone this turn. Um, you'll notice as I go around these units that the vast majority of them are fresh. If we push up the coast towards Bardia, there's 15th Panzer's combat trains. And this is the Bardia command back here. Essentially, probably more or less a static unit, really, to uh, to defend Bardia, as is Frontera back down here. It's, um, it's literally the frontier force, basically. And then pushing out over here for the, the axis, we also have... Uh, Vekman, Camp Group Vekman. And uh, right out to the edges here, you can see that they've just marked. Um, back away up there. Yep, there you go. There's your two supply sources for the uh, for the axis. So quite a ways to come all the way back down over here. 
And then if we uh, if we do the same with the um, Commonwealth units, so there you can see sort of in the lead is Fourth Armoured, in behind Seventh Armoured, Twenty Second Guards, and along the road the support group. And that's the setup. As I say, it's literally only three turns. Um, I think what we must have, we must have uh, four, eight. We've probably got about eight formations on the map, so roughly equivalent in formations. Um, let's just see how it goes. 